So here we are, a single map from the ladder, I believe, between two awesome Zerg players. It is gonna be pretty good fun. And spawning down in the bottom left-hand position as the blue Zerg representing Millennium, it is Daishi. And his opponent up in the top right of Derelict Watcher, the red Zerg, Stefano. All very good times. So, what can these two be throwing out? Well, it's going to be very interesting. It's worth noting, mainly though, the Daishi, and this is definitely Daishi because um, he's of course got the Millennium Tags, um, is a Terran player, and he's playing Zerg. So, this is already a little bit of an off race. It could be very interesting to see how this goes, perhaps a little bit of fun. Looks like Daishi wanting to go for a little bit of early aggressive play. A Temple coming down here. Is it going to work up against Stefano? It's just a fun little game, this it would seem. Is there going to be a transition out of it? Well, for the moment, a gas getting side as well. Extractor trick. Potentially double extractor trip. Maybe. Temple into a double extractor trick, then an overlord. Can be pretty damn good. We're going to see exactly what Daisy has planned. He hasn't signed an overlord yet. Stefano, meanwhile, just droning happily behind this. Things looking fairly nice for him. Keeping a good little eye on exactly what's coming down. It's not going to be an extract trick, instead just getting some gas, so this could be a speedling all in. Is Stefano going to be able to see this? Perhaps Daishi just lost some kind of Zerg cheese and was like, you know what? Anyone can do this. And so he just clicked on Zerg and reladded. And don't lie, I know most of you who play StarCraft actively have done that on the ladder. I've done that on the ladder. Where you just, you lose to a proxy 2 racks. This is the last time it happened to me, I lost to a proxy 2 racks. As a Zerg player, and I was just like, I was raging. I was absolutely fuming that I didn't scout. I wasn't mad they did it. I think it's, it's a perfectly viable strategy. I was just fuming that I didn't scout it. And I was like, this is too strong and too easy to execute. So I flicked over to Terra and I did an 11-11 proxy 2 racks. And I won. And then I felt dirty. And I went back to Zerg and I played better. Uh, but anyway, this is, of course, coming down here. Speed has now been begun. Are we going to get more Zerglings out? Of course we are from Daishi. He's not even getting the expansion. He's just like, earliest speedlings possible attack. And that's what he's doing. He's going to try and get some more damage down. Running across the map. Going to start chipping away at this hatchery as fast as possible. They're saying something in French. I don't know what that says in French. But Daishi's probably about to make Stefano a little bit aggravated. Because Stefano has poor drones. Uh, hasn't actually put drones in gas yet. Is going to do so now. He's just like, okay, spine cooler. Stefano knows how to defend this. The problem with cheesing in ZBZ is that every Zerg player has been cheesed in ZBZ so many times, they know how to defend most of them. The speedlings are not yet speedlings. They're still only just over halfway through getting speed down. They have forced the council though with the natural base. A couple of lings out for Stefano. He sends them down very early on though. Needs to be careful with those. Daishi now running up into the main speed. He's about to kick in. He's got 12 more Zerglings coming through. He's just holding down that Ziki. Surrounding the spine crawler, trying to deal with the links as they come through. This queen racking up a couple of kills for herself, doing fairly well. This is the sort of queen you want protect, protecting your hatchery. And with the spine now, Daisy's gonna have a bit more of a tough time. The Zergling is even falling back more on the way through. Perhaps Daisy thinking, okay, I'll wait. I'll patiently wait until I get enough links to be able to end this all out. He's stopped all production though for the moment, and that's because he's out of lava. As he waits for his next inject to come through. There we go. What's it going to be spent on? Zerglings? Zerglings and more Zerglings? No. Drones. Okay. For the moment, we see Daishi experimenting with the second hockey he's going to learn as a Zerg player. Assuming this isn't just a bit of fun. And a little bit of a off-racing moment. He's practicing drones. And also overlords. He hasn't built one of... Oh, actually he had built one of those. I take it back. Daishi though scouting around quickly, he sees the baning list. That's not something you want to see when you've committed heavily to speedlings. So he goes for it, he comes in with all of the speedlings, tries to deal as much damage as he can, but he's forced to back away the spines, the zerglings, and the queens. Too much for him to defend against the moment. Stefano is currently up 24 to 16 zerglings, and also still two workers ahead. What Daishi hasn't done is expand. He's instead pumped all of this into getting more gas. And well, is that gas going to be much good? He's going to need Bailings. The double queen wall off and the Bailings in production should signal the end of Speedlings working at all. It's quite simple in ZVZ. If you're going for mass Speedlings and your opponent gets Bailings, that's the end of your mass Speedling play right there. Assuming your opponent is somewhat competent. Uh, competent. But, 
that may not be the case because there's a lot of speedlings making their way over. Because Stefano knows about all of these because he's got Overlords placed nicely. He's keeping a good solid check. He knows there's no expansion. So he's just going to sit here. The Bailings though, now waddling down. Start detonating. A decent hit there. Stefano already up significantly. He keeps these Bailings in a nice little spot where they can actually pick off any attempted escape. There's more Bailings coming through as well. But Zergling's going to make their way up into the main base. Nice detonation there. Gets a couple more links. Drones are going to die now though. Deji up at 20 drones, so he has recovered somewhat economically here. Stefano down to 14, but he's got so much on the field. The Bailings are still waddling forward. They're heading towards his opponent's main. And Deji may realize that he's in a few problems. Because boom. The Ling, Bailing, all in from Stefano. On the back of a temple, he was like, You came into my race and tried to play a cheese? That's not how you cheese. And in now come the Bailings. The detonations are going to be beautiful. They start connecting the drones. They're frantically trying to escape. Nice Bailing detonations there. Two for three. Always a good swap. Attempted defense. But more Bailings coming in now for Stefano. He can just start detonating any way that he wants. Well played. And Stefano wins that game against Daishi off racing. It was good fun. I hope you liked. Um, of course, if you're watching on VODs, make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel. Like the video and all that sort of stuff. And if you're on my Twitch channel... Well, make sure you follow, because you saw it live first, so it's good times.